In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how I'm going to install a DC voltmeter as well as a temperature sensor into my tent trailer. The DC voltmeter has a range of 3 to 30 volts whereas the temperature sensor has a range from minus 30 Celsius up to plus 75 Celsius. These two devices were obtained at my local electronics store Abra which is located in Montreal on Cote de Lies. For the purpose of the installation, I will be installing it into a custom backing plate where I will also incorporate a switch to turn them on and off and that backing plate will then be installed into the tent trailer. So now the template is made. I was, what I did was I took some cardboard since it's an easy substrate to work with as far as cutting and forming. So right now as you can see I have the two gauges, voltmeter on the left, uh, temperature on the right as well as I left some space below. The reason for that space below is I want to put in a couple switches, some uh, toggle switch. So I do have the ability to turn them on and off if ever I needed to. I mean these gauges are LED backlit so really they're not going to take any draw whatsoever off the um, off the deep cycle battery on the trailer. But still at night if it's too much of a glare coming into the trailer at least that way I have the ability to um, switch them off. So on the next step what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this template I made to transfer over to a more solid substrate. Uh, most likely I'll be using a harder PVC or plastic. And then also what I'll be doing is I'm going to be wrapping it in a carbon fiber just to give it a bit of that nicer look. Plus uh, I'm a big fan of carbon fiber so why not. And then once all that's done I'll... Um, be putting it all into the trailer. Just so you know, these, this one video is made in different steps, so you'll notice there might be some pausing in between talking. Just what I'm doing is I'm as step as step, step by step, I'm editing it together to make one continuous video uh, to show you guys. So, like I said, as you can see, it's in the cardboard. Uh, we can see the back. Uh, leads are disconnected. So, on the voltmeter, you have just your typical uh, ground and hot. Whereas on the temperature, you have your power, ground hot, but as well as your temperature probe. Uh, two leads coming off there, which I'm going to have to extend to bring outside the trailer to get um, temperature reading from the outside, since uh, inside temperature will already be, already be written from the thermostat on the inside. So until then, um, our video will continue once I get to that step. I was able to find some time and um, get everything put together. I took my template transferred that over to a more solid substrate. I ended up using just a hardened plastic. So you can see here we have the two gauges on the left the volt, on the right the temperature. Each of them have their dedicated toggle switch. Just a standard black toggle switch on off. Uh, I then wrapped the plastic in a carbon fiber wrap just for styling. Like I said, love carbon fiber, so why not? You can see in the back how they're all installed in. Wiring still needs to be done. Each gauge will have to be wired up to its dedicated toggle switch. And then the common powers and grounds to be run into the trailer where I have um, inside a cabinet, I have all my electrical housed where I have uh, distribution bars for both power and ground. So for now that'll be it. Um, I'll be continuing the video once I'm in the trailer and ready to install everything and we'll proceed with that step. Uh, this morning I was able to advance quite a bit. I was able to cut a hole into my cabinet where I'm going to be mounting the gauges as well as able to finish up all the wiring. It's a bit of a mess because nothing's fully put in place yet but it's all hooked up. Um, as you can see on the back of the meters I have all the switches and the wires hooked up. So the way it's going to look is it's going to come in from the back. I was debating whether to come over the top, but I figured from the back is nice, gives a nice recessed look. So you really see the volt on the left, 12.7, temperature 21 on the right, with their toggle switches on off. Uh, for mounting, you can see I put some holes around the perimeters while we putting some small bolts uh, with nuts and washers in the back to hold it firmly into place. Uh, I was thinking maybe putting a little framing around it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I kind of like the clean look the way it is now. So uh, that's what I did for today. Tomorrow I'm going to have to um, get in there and really clean up all the wiring, get everything nicely tucked away. I also have a piece of wood that I put in there that hides everything, also stops any of the, the kids or if I ask anyone touching those wires. There is a cover on those, um, on those distribution bars, so there is no issue. There is no worry, but I still like to keep everything neat. 
Um, and you can see beside where the, the meters are going to be placed, I have my stereo speaker. And I even put an on-off switch for my stereo. Uh, that way I have the, the possibility, I'm able to fully shut down the stereo um, when the battery's hooked up so I don't have to worry about it being on. Because unfortunately with this radio, as soon as you hook up the battery, the default goes on. So if the trailer's closed and then I'm hooking up my battery, well, the radio goes on. So this way I can keep it shut off. That way when I hook up my battery and shutter's closed, I know the radio's off. So um, I think tomorrow, uh, I've seen rain for the rest of the day and I have people over today. So I think what I'll do is tomorrow I'll continue, as I said, cleaning it up, final installation, getting everything in place. And then we'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll continue the video from there so everyone could see where we're at. I don't know if the display is showing up too well, the digital display on the video. It seems to be flickering as uh, electronics usually do on video, but you get the idea. So I was able to finish up the installation today. As you can see, I got it in, went from behind like I wanted to. Then what I did is I took a little bit of um, edging and framed it off just to give it a clean look. So as you can see, everything is working. 12.7 volts, a little cold today, 18 degrees. It's getting to fall time soon. So that's it. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and look f uh, keep looking. There's going to be more as I more and more projects. I'm going to start posting them. Thank you very much.